regulation of urea cycle now this urea cycle operates to eliminate the excess nitrogen so excess of nitrogen is eliminated by urea cycle that is its function now during a high protein diet the carbon skeleton of amino acid is either oxidized to get energy or it is stored as fat and glycogen if you are on a high protein diet you are consuming protein more then the carbon skeleton of the amino acid of those proteins are used for two purposes are the first purpose is either it is oxidized to obtain energy or it is then stored as fat or glycogen okay so these are the two functions of the amino acids carbon skeleton so yeah, the the thing is that the amino acid is made up of two thing right carbon skeleton and amino nitrogen now the carbon skeleton is used for energy and storage what about the amino nitrogen well the amino amino nitrogen is excreted so if you are consuming more protein then you will excrete more nitrogen that is how it is now to facilitate this process okay that is the digestion of the amino acid the enzymes of the urea cycles are controlled at gene level okay so urea cycle is there to fix the nitrogen which is generated by the digestion of amino acid so when you digest amino acid you get carbon skeleton you get nitrogen that nitrogen is fixed by urea cycle and that is the reason why to facilitate that process the enzymes of urea cycle are controlled at gene level now the concentration of enzymes in of the urea cycle in your body depends upon the amount of protein in your diet if you are consuming more protein then obviously more nitrogen will be uh, produced and to fix that nitrogen more enzymes of the urea cycle will be required so that is how it is if the, the concentration of enzymes of urea cycle depends upon the amount of protein in your uh, diet now during starvation what happens is the level of enzymes of urea cycle increases okay why the concentration of enzymes of urea cycle increases because during starvation the amino acid carbon skeleton is used as the source of energy okay the stored proteins in your body is used as a source of energy and when you are breaking down protein to obtain on energy obviously the quantity of nitrogen is going to be increase so to fix that nitrogen the level of enzymes of urea cycle will increase so this is a, an interesting point to know that during starvation in your body the level of enzymes of urea cycle rises now the short term regulation of this urea cycle occurs at this enzyme which is known as cps1 that is carbamyl phosphate synthase 1 now this cps1 is relatively inactive in the absence of its allosteric activator which is known as n acetyl glutamate okay so the the regulation of urea cycle actually depends upon this molecule that is n acetyl glutamate okay if it is there then it will activate this cps1 and then urea cycle will be uh, activated but if in the system this n acetyl glutamate is not there then cps1 will not be active and that is the reason why urea cycle will not take place so it all the regulation of urea cycle depends upon the presence or absence of this n acetyl glutamate now this n glutamate synthase okay is synthesized from these two that is glutamate and acetyl coenzyme a and the synthesis of this n acetyl glutamate from these two molecules is catalyzed by this enzyme that is n acetyl glutamate synthase okay so this enzyme is quite important in the regulation of the urea cycle if this enzyme is present then there will be formation of this n acetyl glutamate 
and then it will ap activate CPS1 which will activate urea cycle. So yeah, this N-acetylglutamate synthesis is quite important enzyme in the regulation of the urea cycle. Now if the amino acid breakdown rate increases, then due to this there will be increase in excess of nitrogen. And because of this there will be increase in the urea synthesis. So the rate of urea synthesis is quite regulated by the breakdown rate of the amino acid. Okay, if the amino acid breakdown rate is high, then the rate of urea synthesis will be high. As simple as that. Now increase in the breakdown rate are signaled by the increase in the glutamate concentration. If in your body the glutamate concentration has increased, then it suggests that the amino acid breakdown rate has increased. And this increase in glutamate concentration happens by transamination reaction. Okay, so yeah, if the glutamate concentration is high, then it means that urea cycle is going to take place at a higher rate in your body. So this is how it is going to work. Okay, breakdown of the amino acid will cause increase in the concentration of glutamate and that will lead to increase in the N-acetylglutamate synthesis. And if N-acetylglutamate synthesis is there, then L-acetylglutamate will stimulate this carbamyl phosphate synthesis, which will then stimulate the whole urea cycle. So the more breakdown of amino acid happens, the more urea cycle is going to take place.